starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at Shama Mead and welcome to my YouTube channel Computernetic Zone for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about waterfall software development model. So let's start and discuss our topic in detail. Waterfall software model is a traditional software development approach. In 1950s, business leaders realized to have a well-structured approach to ensure consistent work pattern that resulted origin of traditional project management or traditional software development. So, waterfall model is a backbone of traditional software development approach or a traditional project management. So, how we can define a waterfall? The nickname waterfall came from its resemblance to cascading levels of water pouring over the stair stepping rock outcropping on the mountain side. So, there are five steps of waterfall model. First we have is requirement definition. Second we have is software and system design. Then we have is coding and unit testing. And then we have is system testing and integration. And the last one we have is maintenance and deployment or deployment and maintenance you can say. So the very first step is requirement definition. So in this step, what we do is we make a plan and then according to that plan, we specify our requirements. So in this step, we focus on these questions like what are our goals and what are our constraints? What actually product at the end will give? So what are the objectives and the goals of our project and what are the constraints that we have to uh, adhere while developing that project. So this is all what we do in requirement definition and this is a very very critical step because it requires a lot of lot of attention and devotion. So once requirements are fixed, once the requirements are design once the requirements are fully planned then we move to the next step that is software and or system design so on the basis of the specifications that we had made in a requirement definition step our next step is to develop system or software design so system design basically helps in specifying hardware and software requirements and it also helps in defining the overall system architecture. So it is very much important to note that once your design is completed you cannot change your requirements. So this is what waterfall is all about. Means if you are on system and design phase and if you come across that your requirements are not complete or there is something missing then you cannot go back to that of requirement definition so in this case your project will be terminated if you are at coding and unit testing phase and if you come across that your software or a system design is not good or it is not according to the to the desired requirements then you cannot go back hence your project will be terminated so this is all about what we have is in waterfall model so the next we have is coding and unit testing coding in software terminology means that we write a software code or we program a software so what we do we divide the whole software into different chunks into different sections into different units so we code or we write that each of the unit and then test individually 
so suppose that if you are uh, working if you're writing a code for a software for a software such as a student management system so there are different modules for that for example one of the one is about subjects that the student opted opted next one we have is student result card next is um, suppose other section we have other uh, unit that we have is student uh, bio information or bio data so this is each of different units so one team it will be working on result card one team will be working on the bio data and one team will be working on the subjects so these there so these are the three different units so what software developers do they will code each uh, each of the function each of the um, we can say unit and along with the functionality so once um, the unit will be computed then testing will be done which is called unit testing so after the completion of the each um, units then we move on the next phase that is system testing and integration what we do what we have developed different units before we will integrate uh, all developed unit programs to make sure that it works according to the standards that we have defined before so integration is the emergence it is the integration is a it is emergence of different units or different developed units so once uh, we integrate each uh, all the units then we will do a system testing to make sure that a system is working as per desired goals so next step we have is deployment and maintenance so once the system is ready once the system goes across the unit testing and as well as system testing and then the system is um, deployed in the customer environment or in the runtime environment so once a system will be deployed then they may come across some issues um, uh, then to fix those issues patches are released and uh, it is also important to note uh, that we um, also release dif different versions of uh, the product you can see you can see different products like 2.0 3.0 4.0 5.0 6.7 8.9 10 so on so different um, organizations release a better version of the product uh, to make sure that it is working as per student as per uh, client and desired goals or its requirements so this is a, a deployment phase when we use waterfall model this is a very critical question um, the, what are the conditions in which waterfall model will be used waterfall model will be used when the requirements are fully understood and clear so there must be no doubt in the requirements if you are not uh, capable of understanding the requirements and if you if you believe that your requirements will be changing along with the time then you will not use waterfall model you will only use waterfall model when your requirements are fully understood and are clear second when our requirements are fixed waterfall strictly follow the principle that it will only be used when the requirements are fixed so there shall be no changes later on or waterfall model will not adhere any sort of requirements in future so once the requirement are fixed in the very first phase then it will go along till the completion of the whole process third is technology is understood and is not dynamic the waterfall model is used when technology is fixed for example 
there is there is a precondition that uh, there is a constraint that the user has imposed that uh, that the student management system will be developed in a C language only so there shall be no other language used so you will have, uh, always um, you will have to use a C language uh, program C language for uh, the development of the student management system so whatsoever happen the developer will have to use only C language so this is actually um, the failure of the waterfall model then um, agile process models um, literally follow those principles and then overcome waterfall model so waterfall model does not support dynamic technology so in modern times when the technology is evolving with every passing time every passing day so waterfall model will not be will not be applicable so it will not be applicable in today's era when the technology is continuously um, evolving so we have few examples like nokia um, motorola these were the two top companies in 2000 uh, in early 2000 um, so there was they were great companies but they did not uh, adhere technology so they were all following that the traditional um, waterfall approach so they did not uh, adhere the changes they did not adhere the requirement changing requirements they did not adhere the technology as a result of that android and later on apple um, came across and then and then abolish the whole Motorola and Nokia technology so this is uh, all what we have regarding that how and when and the waterfall model will be used so what are the advantages of waterfall model so waterfall model is simply and easy to understand why because the phases are fixed and the outcomes of the each phase is fixed or fixed so it is very simple and easy to understand next we have is waterfall model is a very simple model like uh, I, I have already said and that the phases are fixed so there are five steps so these are fixed steps so you will have to uh, start from the scratch and then at, and end at and the maintenance and deployment so there is no hard um, uh, to understand uh, that model so one of the prominent things about waterfall model is that the stages are very much defined so well understood milestone this is important so this is one of the great advantage of the of the um, waterfall model that each of the phase have clear and understood milestone for example if you are in the requirement phase in the requirement analysis phase or requirement uh, definition phase you will the milestone of that phase is that you must have specified requirements at the end of the that phase and if you are in the uh, unit testing phase or um, second design phase then you there's a clear milestone in that um, step uh, let's discuss from here diagram for for more understanding if you are this on this phase that is requirement definition the milestone of this uh, phase is clearly understood that you will have well specified requirements if you are in at at um, software and system design phase so your you clearly milestone is to have a well precisely software or system design this architecture must be ready in that um, in that phase so when you are at coding and unit testing phase it means you will have to develop each you will you will have to first um, separate or divide the whole software into different units and then you will have to code that units and then you will have to test that uh, units to make sure that it's working according to the, the, the desired goals in next phase what you will have to do is you will have to integrate 
uh, all the develop units so this is a milestone that at the end of this phase you will have a well integrated system and that must be tested and that must be free of errors so in the maintenance phase you will have to deploy the system in the in the current environment in the runtime environment in the client's uh, environment and then you will have to see whether there is any error uh, while deploying the system or it can um, any accommodation that can be made but make sure that you will not change the requirements you will not change the design you will not change um, the coding techniques you will not change any testing or um, integration later on so you will have to just um, see if there, is, there are any errors that you then you will have to um, to focus on that error and to eliminate those errors so the next is detailed documentation as I have already said that this um, whole waterfall model is very compact milestones are fully uh, understood stages are much defined and there's a lot of a lot of uh, brainstorming is used in, in all phases in all um, especially in the requirement definition phase so there is uh, so it does not support any changing requirements so that's that's why uh, documentation is very very necessary so waterfall model must have a detailed and comprehensive documentation for the user and for the developers or for the team to understand what they have done and how they have achieved that process so next one we have is disadvantages of waterfall model since the requirements are fixed since it does not support any technology changing technology so that means that that a high amount of risk in, is involved a certain tendency is involved you can't know that the technology that you are um, implementing while the, uh, the while any um, development of a software uh, any software system so you have no idea about a certain that whether it will prevail in the future or not so Motorola and Nokia are the clear examples um, they did not um, adhere they, they didn't know that the future will be of Android and, and the smartphones um, so they did not adhere um, that factor so that's why they were failed so this is not suitable for the complex and the long projects because long projects and complex projects required a lot of a lot of um, changing needs requirements so it, so what uh, so waterfall model does not support uh, too long uh, projects or complex projects because of the changing continuous changing needs as also it is not suitable, suitable for the long and ongoing projects as well right ongoing projects it is also not suitable for ongoing ongoing projects it is not suitable for the projects where the requirements are continuously changing right if you are um, working on any technology like facebook uh, like uh, microsoft uh, like we have is, is amazon so with each passing day they they will have different risk involved they their requirements continuously changing uh, with the passage of time so they will not follow waterfall model approach so waterfall model approach will only be used when your requirements are fixed and this is highly time consuming um, model because you uh, put a lot of efforts a lot of time a lot of devotion in the requirement phase and then you will have to uh, design phase as well uh, then you will have to spend so much time on coding and then integrating them and then deploying them and then so on so this is all what we have about uh, waterfall model if you have any questions regarding waterfall model you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos in future thank you and have a nice